First, fast, accurate. You're watching WSBT 22 News at 10 on SBT2. Good evening, I'm Annie Chang. Rick has the night off tonight. Did Indiana's Department of Child Services fail to protect an infant from her father? Halo Stutzman mother is making that allegation tonight. WSBT 22's Kelly Stopsinski reports she claims the state owes her more than a million dollars because of her four month old's death. A DCS spokesman says he cannot provide any additional information or details because it's potential litigation. The state has 90 days to respond to this tort claim notice. If it does not, Stutzman can file a formal lawsuit against DCS. We'll take a look. This man faces child molestation charges tonight after explicit videos and pictures were found on his phone. According to court documents, since early January, Thomas Fuller babysat three children for a local couple. The family gave Fuller a cell phone to keep in contact and at the end of February, Fuller told the family he couldn't watch the children anymore and gave the phone back. The parents then found several pictures and videos of their children on that phone. In some of the photos, the couple's five-year-old daughter was naked. Fuller was arrested last week and is being held on a $100,000 bond. Thank you. The weather is warming up, but flooding will not be a problem. Many of the 38,000 storm drains in South Bend are covered in ice right now, but officials say they don't expect to see much more than a few puddles as the snow starts to melt. That's in contrast to last year when the thaw came with heavy rain. Even though officials aren't expecting any flooding, you can still help avoid problems by clearing out your storm drain. No, we can always use the help. Like I said, we can always use the help with as many catch basins as, as we have. Uh, any, anything anybody can do would help us out. It's greatly, greatly appreciated. Officials say removing that ice and debris will help the water drain more easily. But if you do experience any problems, you can call 311. Lawmakers introduced a bill that makes it harder for a city to annex county land. They say it's a response to the annexation elf efforts in the city of Elkhart. The city has incorporated nine parcels of land in the past year or so. It's working on adding another three parcels. Homeowners in the county are calling this bill a win, but city leaders say it could kill the local economy. Chihuahua Mayor Dave Wood and South Bend Mayor Pete Buttigieg both say they are strongly against Senate Bill 330. Buttigieg calls it a terrible bill, saying he's been discussing it with lawmakers and hopes they come up with a more reasonable version. Senate Bill 330 had its first reading last week, and a House committee will go over it next. The LaPorte County Sheriff's Office is investigating a deadly industrial accident. Just before 6.30 Central Time this morning, crews were called to Markman Pete for a worker trapped in machinery. That's in the 300 block of East Hup Road. Crews freed 41-year-old Alejandro Anguiano from the machine. He died in the hospital. Investigators say he was pulled into the machine by his sweatshirt.